Hi there, it's David Geldart from Lumacrest Lighting Solutions. We've been providing top quality LED lighting products and solutions since 2008. Today we're going to talk about color temperature. And first question is, how can color have a temperature? And we're going to answer that. And we're also going to talk about why color temperature is so important, how to choose the right one. With LED lights, you can have different shades of white. And that's a fairly unique feature with LEDs, but it also makes it a little bit more confusing. So if you have a halogen light like this that we've looked at in some other videos, if we turn on that light, we get a light that is pretty much, uh, it's white, but it's a yellowish kind of white. And because it's yellowish, we call it warm white. It's not warm because the bulb is hot. The bulb is hot, but that's not why we call it warm white. We call it warm white because it's a little bit yellowish in color. So this color is approximately 2,700 degrees Kelvin in terms of its color temperature. Uh, Kelvin is, uh, again, a, a measurement that we don't always think about, but that's around 4,400 degrees Fahrenheit um, in terms of, um, if you want to convert it to that, or 2,450 Celsius. In any case, it's just, uh, it's just a number. So 2700K warm white will give you a kind of a yellowish color. So if you want an, uh, an LED light that will mimic that color, let's say you want to keep some halogen lights and you want to add some LEDs to it, you're going to take a 2700K warm white and if we put them both together, you see that the color is, is very, very compatible. Um, actually the LED light gives a very, very smooth kind of beam the halogen's got a weird thing that's going on because of its reflector. You don't see that too much at a distance. But you can see the color temperature of these two are almost identical. Let's say that you don't really like the yellowish quality of the halogen light. And you want to have something a little bit whiter, but not too white. And this is why we have clean white. And this color is still a little bit of warmth to it but it is uh, 3,000 degrees Kelvin, is what we call it. Um, and so it's basically if you want something like a halogen light, but erase the yellow. That's 3,000K clean white. Now we start getting into something that's a little bit cooler in color. Cooler meaning a little bit more bluish. This light, you can see, is a much more blue kind of color than the 3000K, and much more blue again than the 2700K. The application for this kind of light, uh, if you have a very, very modern kind of environment that you want to have super clean looking, or maybe a jewelry store where you want to have your jewels kind of sparkle, um, or if you just want to have a, a super clean, crisp kind of look, that's 4000K. You can go beyond that into cool whites. We find out that uh, beyond 4000K, it really starts to look a little bit bluish, and people are generally not too keen on that kind of look. So the question is, what, does the, what do these numbers mean? Uh, 2700 Kelvin, 3000 Kelvin, 4000 Kelvin, what, what is all of that? Why do we have these funny numbers? And the answer is that the color is correlated to um, a, if you were able to heat a, a rod of iron to 2700 degrees Kelvin, it would glow kind of yellow. If you saw the, if you saw the clip with the toaster in it, you would see that the, the filament glowed kind of orange, and that's due to the temperature that the filament reached. Um, if you took the iron and you heated it to 2700K, it would glow this kind of yellowish white. If you heated it to 3000K, it's going to glow this kind of clean white. And if you kept on heating it to 4000 degrees Kelvin, it's going to glow this kind of pure white. And if you kept on heating it to 6 or 8000 degrees Kelvin, it would begin to glow blue. So it's a correlated color temperature the color of the light correlates to the heating of a theoretical piece of iron. If you think about warm white being kind of yellowish, like a halogen, clean white being like a halogen but with the yellow cleaned out, and natural white being like a uh, noonday sun. That's, um, that's what color temperature is all about in a nutshell. 
And of course, we don't have to just do that in bulbs. The LED strip that we have is also available in warm white, clean white, and natural white. So you can even mix the bulbs if you want to have a uniform look with clean white bulbs, clean white LED strip. It's uh, all available.